Hey, what's going on guys? It's Caleb and welcome back to another After Effects tutorial. I have not recorded one of these in a while and uh, today I just hit 10,000 subscribers. So thank you guys so much. That's really awesome. It's honestly been my only goal on YouTube was to eventually hit 10,000 subscribers. And on this channel, we finally did it. So thank you guys so much. It's really awesome and I really appreciate it. Uh, but today I have a fun tutorial for you guys. We're going to be talking about how to make text bounce and everyone loves making everything bounce. It's just something in human nature that we all enjoy doing. And uh, I am just the same on, as you guys with that. I love making anything bounce. And uh, there's actually an expression. I didn't write this expression myself. I don't, I think the version I have is a little bit modified than whenever I first got it. But this is an expression that will basically make anything bounce that you, it will make anything bounce. It's super cool. It's a really neat expression. And um, I'm going to leave a link to it down in the description for you guys in a paste bin. And you guys can apply this to your own work, uh, anything you do to automatically make bounce uh, animations and you have some controls within the expression to actually uh, configure the bounce to how you want. If you want it to be stronger or smaller or go by faster or slower or anything like that, this expression gives you full control of that and I'm going to show you guys everything you need to know about it before you get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a new text layer and I just got a new laptop today so if anything seems slow then I apologize. I am still totally getting used to this keyboard and everything like that um, but it's a pretty awesome laptop and I'm really excited about it so that's good uh, but I have a text layer here it's bounce and um, the expression we're going to be using is right here like I said it's on a paste bin right there you guys can just copy and paste that into your own work and so uh, one way I see people making bounces and in some cases you're definitely going to want to do it like this like kind of manually create the animation so going like you're scaling it from here going up uh, scaling it up to here then you know kind of you get the idea going like that then bringing it up a little bit kind of like imagining how the bounce looks in your head and then creating it automatically um, or manually so doing like a little bounce you know it's not a good example but um, you get the idea kind of bringing it in a little bit closer um, it's a little this whole thing obviously that's very rough but you get the idea creating a little bounce with keyframes yourself and basically you can get a much smoother way of doing this automatically and once I found this expression I was like my life is complete this expression is awesome so basically what you're gonna do is go to the paste bin down in the description take this whole line of code right here and don't worry um, all this stuff you don't really need to know too much about it um, the main thing there's a couple values that you'll need to mess with yourself uh, but after you get done with that, you should be good to go. Um, and then, so let's say we're gonna we're gonna animate scale here. Um, you can do this with position, rotation, uh, opacity if you wanted to, anything like that. Um, you can apply that to any of these values. So in this example, we'll be using scale, but keep in mind the same process applies to like position or anything like that. So we have our scale here, and we're gonna go from 100 to uh, let's say 121. So what we have here is an animation that's scaling up. But what we want to do is have it scale up and then scale down a little bit, then scale back up a little bit and bounce basically until it's in uh, the right position just to add a little bit more flair to the animation. And like I said, in like a manual way, you would just manually do it with keyframes. But with this expression, all you're going to do is hold down alt and then press your stopwatch and that's going to pull up your expression. And again, that's alt and then you click on the stopwatch and that's gonna pull this little dialog box open. I know that gets confusing for some people. Um, just one more time, alt and then click on the stopwatch and this little thing will come up. So uh, make sure you have that expression in the, the paste bin down in the description, the one that was right here. If you have that right there, copy and paste it, bring it into this little box here and then control V to paste it in, press enter or not enter, just click off of it basically, there you go. And then if we watch the animation, um, we're gonna wanna bring it uh, closer together. This expression is really interesting because it uses uh, velocity. It kind of understands momentum. And if you watch that very closely, um, I'm going to have to go ahead and uh, bring this in and then bring that in with that. Uh, but if you watch here, you can see it is automatically doing the bounce. And uh, just so I can show you guys a more dramatic version of this, um, I'm going to go ahead and mess with a couple values. So like I said, you don't need to know too much about all this code stuff here. The only things you're going to look at are decay, frequency, and amplitude, which are all right here. So amplitude is how hard it's going to bounce. So if we turn the amplitude up to, um, right now I have it set at like a, like a very low amplitude, um, because I, whenever I pasted this expression in, I had a version of it that was very soft bounce. But if we changed it to four, 
um, we're going to see a much larger, you can automatically see. So uh, we bring that in, boom, that's bouncing like crazy. So turn up that amplitude, you're gonna get a way harder impact. And then we also down there, uh, we have frequency, which is set at 1.7. The frequency is how frequently it's going to bounce within that period of having like, hitting that initial bounce. It's how long after the initial bounce it's going to continue to bounce for. So right now it's at 1.7. If we change that to 4.7, it also kind of plays in with the amplitude as well, so it'll make it make it look a lot bar <laughs> larger. So as you can see, uh, that's making it go crazy. And the decay, de decay is basically how quickly the animation is going to die off. So if we bring that up to nine, we're gonna see uh, the animation kind of going away faster. Um, so with those three things, you, you have this expression uh, fully at your control. You can do anything you want with this expression, create any kind of bounce. And again, this doesn't have to be just done on scale. If you want to do a cool slide in with your text to make it bounce and then hit its position, you can do that with position. Or if you want it to rotate and then kind of do a little bounce on the rotation, you can do that too. Um, Express, this expression is really awesome, really easy for anybody to use. Again, all you need to know about is amplitude, frequency, and decay. And now for like a smoother bounce, just so we can get out of this silly, crazy looking bounce. Um, I'm gonna go to 0 0.07, and then on the frequency, I'll set that to 1.7. And then decay, I'll set that to 2.0. And then we should see a very smooth and subtle bounce. So. There we go. Very simple, very easy. If you're seeing all these dudes in motion graphics create these really cool looking bounce animations, um, I'm sure a lot of them are using this expression if they know about it, but um, this expression is really awesome and I really encourage you guys to use it. Um, it's awesome. I mean, it's helped me out in so many projects and saved me a lot of time not having to go in and manually create the bounces. It's really cool. But yeah, that's pretty much it with the frequency, decay, and amplitude. You pretty much have this expression fully at your control and you can customize any kind of bounce that you want for really anything. And keep in mind, this doesn't have to be done just on text. It can also be done on shapes as well. Uh, really anything that you can really add a bounce to, it can be used for that. So uh, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a like. And I've been meaning to shout out my Instagram on this channel for quite a bit now. If you guys want to check out my videography and photography work, it's all on my Instagram. That's going to be at crwlancaster or instagram.com slash crwlancaster. I'm going to leave a link to that down in the description. Um, I do plan on this channel posting uh, a lot of different kinds of tutorials. I plan on going into uh, some filmmaking tutorials and Photoshop and Lightroom and photography and videography, all that good stuff. Uh, I'm just still in the process of getting it ready to go um, because I do have other things going on, but I'm really looking into that and looking forward to it. So um, this is a little insight as to what's kind of going on with the future of this channel. Um, but you know, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys liked it and I'll see you in the next one.